Hello guys, what's up on my channel? Today I'm here to give you my Manchester City vs Arsenal preview of our game kicking off on Saturday at half twelve. Let's get right into it. It's so cold outside. I'm alone. I'm So the Banner Club is back again and we yeah, three games, zero points is gonna happen because our third game we got to see Eight Hat Stadium and we played Manchester City uh at half twelve on Saturday, um you know, afternoon, midday what we wanna call it. But yeah, uh, uh we're gonna play early kickoff on Saturday against City away from home and yeah. After losing our first two games in in the Premier League, we're now going to lose our third game. And um, can we actually beat Manchester City? Uh, I go back and I look, and the last time we beat them away from home was 2014. That that was when Alexis Sanchez, Santi Cazorla, and we beat them two 0 on Christmas. I think it was like uh, was it Boxing Day? I think it was like. I'm pretty sure it was like Boxing Day and we beat them 2-0 at the Etihad. In 2016 it was 2-0 draw. Uh, in 2017 it was a 2-1 Man City win. In 2018 it was a 3-1. In 2019 it was 3-0. In 2020 it was... Uh, what, what was it in 2020? It was 3-0 um, uh, when we came back from obviously lockdown and then last season we lost 1-0 so this season do I think we can win no uh yeah I, the fact that Gre um, Jack really is signed for Manchester City now he, he always loves to turn, you know he loves to turn up against Arsenal so yeah um yes we have beat you know, we, we've, we we have already played in midweek um and that what this is thing that you know reminds me a lot as well is Manchester City didn't even play in midweek because they weren't even in the Carabao Cup round two, but we were, and we absolutely battered West Brom six nil, um, and we played a very very strong squad against a very very young, inexperienced West Ham. Uh, West Ham, uh, it, it, um, very young, inexperienced uh, West Brom side. So, yeah, yeah, we we, we won six nil, but at the end of the day, it was a very strong squad. We had Pepe, we had Saka, we had Aubameyang, we had uh, Martin Odegaard. You know, we had. Um, uh, Granit Xhaka playing there, experienced players who I think will be signing against Manchester City. So, yeah, um, like I said, City had no, you know, Cabra Cup. They actually, uh, their last game was against Norwich, who, who they piped 5 0, and then they lost 1 0 to Spurs um, on the first game of the season, which shocked me a lot. But I think they're going to, they seem to always beat us, you know. Um, and don't be surprised if we get absolutely battered. I mean, who's actually confident? I mean, we lost two nights to Brentford and we lost two nights to Chelsea. So, we haven't even scored a goal yet in the Premier League. And, yeah, uh, I think our, pr our Premier League goal of the month, if we do not score against Manchester City, we'll have to be either one from the Carabao Cup or one in training, which is absolutely embarrassing. So, yeah, um, I don't even think we're going to score against Manchester City. Uh, you know, I can't lie. I, I, I just think they're going to dominate the whole game, they're going to hit the ball, they're going to just, I don't think they're going to beat us like 5-0, I wouldn't be surprised if they beat us 5-0, but if they, I just think it, once they maybe get their third goal, they just sit back for the whole game, as they always do, just, yeah, cheers, three points, we sit back and we move on, um, which they've done every single season since 2015, to be to, to be quite honest with you, um, so yeah, uh, my score prediction. <laughs> so I think we're gonna lose, but obviously my heart does say we can. I don't, I, I, I don't know why I'm saying this, but we can get a result somehow. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one. <laughs> I'm gonna go one all. <laughs> I'm gonna go one. Yeah, I'm gonna go one one. Um, realistically, my head says we're gonna get absolutely battered. My head says we're gonna lose four nil. 
but my heart says we're gonna get one all draw. So comment your score down below, and let's get around to my predicted lineup. So, starting from goal, very straightforward, but then obviously Ramsdale played and had a pretty decent debut. Did, did have a lot to do against West Brom, um, so I think Van will definitely go and goal for this one. Uh, moving on to the back four, right back, I'm going to go for, you know, I, wanna, I, I would like to see Nuno Tavares there playing right back, but I don't think that's going to happen, so I'm going to go for Callum Chambers for this one, even though he did, but then he played in the Cabo Cup, didn't he? Alright, I'm gonna go Cedric for this one then because I think he's gonna play. Uh, if Hetz Benerin is if Hetz is in the squad, I'm gonna be absolutely fuming. So for me, I'm gonna go uh, Callum Chambers playing right back. The two centre backs, Gabriel's not in. Gabriel and Ben White still here, so we're gonna have to go Rob Holding and Pablo Murray. Yes, we saw what happened to Pablo Murray. AS Brentford, we saw what happened to Pablo Murray. AS Chelsea, he got absolutely destroyed. So Pablo Murray against Jack Reedish. What's going to happen? You, you saw what against Aston Villa when last season, 3 0, Rob Holding started doing these little dancing around Jack Grealish. Look what happened. You know, we got absolutely destroyed. So, Holding and Murray against Jack Grealish, we're screwed. Um, left back, I've gone with Kieran Tierney. Obviously, my left back, my captain, gives absolutely everything and had a rest because Nuno Tavares um, played there in Carabao Cup, so I expect him to be in that squad 100%. Um, moving on to the midfield now. Still not Thomas Partey. El Nenny played. Xhaka did play. Uh, and then Sam, I'm going to go Sammy Lukonga. I think he's been absolutely superb. He's been one of our best players these past two games. Definitely the best out of our bunch. And he's been showing, you know, that leadership that we need. So And he's really young. So for, for me, um, you know, what, what, what I like about him is he's, he never gives up. Like, if he loses a ball, he... He's going to be one of the one of them type of players to win it straight back. You know, he, he ain't going to be none of his sideways and backwards. He tries to play it forward. He tries to do things positive. He don't go sideways. He don't go backwards all the time. He long. He, he tries to, you know, forward forward thinking all the time, which is good. Um, and then also, I don't know. I'm going to have to go Granit Xhaka because obviously we've got no one else. Uh, then obviously in number ten, I'm going to go with Martin Odegaard. I I actually do think Smith Rowe play, so that's what I'm actually going to do. No, I think, I think oh, because oh, I think we'll start Odegaard and Smith Rowe at the same time. But this is my lineup, so I'm gonna go Smith Rowe number ten. Uh, then moving on to the front three, we're gonna go for Alphonse's main striker straight away down the middle. I'm gonna go Abamian, score a hat trick. Don't drop him. You know he's on form. He's flying with confidence. Don't drop him. Yeah, do not drop him. He's gonna go in there straight down the middle. Um, now moving on to the right hand side, I'm gonna go for Bakayo Saka. Oh, but he played it so so is Pepe though. Uh, I'm gonna go for yeah. I'm gonna go for for this one. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Saka for this one. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go Saka on the right. Abamian on the, uh, down the middle, and on the left hand side, I'm gonna go for Gabriel Martinelli. So. Yeah, that's my lineup. Let me know what you do, guys. Do think down below. Like I said, my score prediction is gonna be one one. Um, after this, it is an international break, and yeah, it's that boring, boring, boring international break. England are playing Hungary, Poland, and is it Andorra, something like that? I don't even know. I'm probably ain't gonna be watching it. To be honest, after the, the of that Euros, you know, we did get to the final, but we lost. I ain't gonna bother watching the World Cup qualifiers. I ain't gonna do any videos on it either. To be honest. Um, because it's just boring, you know. Uh, Saka did get called up to the England squad, so congratulations to him. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Come on, you gunners, let's hopefully win against Manchester City. See you guys later.